Hello everyone, Walter here, and today I'll be making a guide showing some uh, war. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, werewolves. So I'll be killing some werewolves because I was looking for a place to hunt, and I couldn't find any place to hunt. Looks, oh no, it's free. Strange. What? There was a, a blood spot on the ground, but anyway. Um. Okay. So. The respawn is usually free because people don't uh, kill werewolves often. Uh, they are quite annoying. They debuff shielding and summon uh, werewolves, which is uh, annoying. So this is the reason most of the people don't like hunting them. Uh, if you see that it, they got you in a position that you think you're being hit by the werewolf, last so I think you should use Ixori to make a sure just a werewolf is hitting you first uh, they heal quite a bit sometimes they run in low HP um, I recommend you bringing in a necklace the garlic necklace is very important because they drain life and this is quite annoying. Uh, the problem is they always debuff your skills. So you should... Uh, I, I don't think uh, using Exori helps a lot because you have low lower skills so it will deal less damage. So you are spending mana for a skill that is not dealing much damage. So I, I just use uh, regular strikes uh, combined with the auto attack and I use my mana to heal the HP I, I lose which I think it's the best to do instead of uh, using Exori but then you can decide by yourself what you think it's best uh, sometimes you f if you find y yourself uh, if you find more than one at a time you can do this you use a fire field they don't step on fire but if you prefer to you two at the same time and feel free to but as I said I'm not using any other like uh, area skill so I don't think uh, it is the best to do so I'm gonna use the exotic just to make sure just the werewolf is attacking me so I get back to my starting position what I do now, uh, I'll go to this to the north first. I forgot to use my skill. I go to the north first, I clean north, and then I head to south, where is the start. Um, I don't kill them pretty fast. You will see that at level 100 or n perhaps even 90 could do the same as I do, without having a lot of waste. Because, um, oh, sorry, I, I was like uh, messed up. I confused everything. I was speaking nonsense. Anyway, um, so a level 100 could hunt here very easily, uh, not having um, much waste. As you can see, I don't even use a lot of healing. I just use a, a Utura and sometimes Exora Eco to help a bit. If you control the werewolves one by one, I think you won't have any problem. If you want to block two, doesn't matter, right? One or two, you can block both. But if you don't, you just step back and have just one on you. Uh, you just have to be careful because, uh, not be careful, but watch out when they are ready to, when they are going to run you should be ready to chase them because if you don't the summon will take the position of the werewolf and then you'll be trapped you will have to attack the summon kill the summon and then chase the werewolf so I usually I usually uh, I'm usually ready to chase the werewolf when it is going to happen if you want you can just use the environment to help you and keep hitting them until they die. 
and we never know when he's debuffing your skill but sometimes you see that you're dealing very very little damage and then you're sure your skill is like 60 or 50 something I don't know if they debuff that much but around that perhaps they debuff around uh, 25% of your skill, 30%. I'm not sure exactly how much is this. This is. So I'm gonna use an Exori because I know he didn't debuff my skill that moment. Usually you check by these uh, white uh, notes. So when you see these, uh, it's because uh, he used the, the debuff skill. Or not, <laughs> sometimes just. Uh, let's see what we have here. Mm, chain armor. Not what I really expected. Fuck this. <coughs> so we get another one. Fine. I don't know if I'm killing too fast, because I, as I remember, when I was level 100, I used to uh, hunt here without any problem of respawn. If I remember well, I used to run twice the cave and then I, sh I, I used to wait a bit and then I, I start again, like I wait two minutes, one minute maximum and then the respawn is ready again to keep hunting. The experience per hour here is around uh, 200, 200k so it's not uh, much, not little, but uh, it is an optional place and uh, people don't uh, hunt this that often. So you will always have uh, somewhere to hunt, some creatures to get experience. Let's see if there's... Uh, but as, it, as you can see there is a werewolf, so the respawn it worked pretty well. So I'm gonna just keep hitting and moving back retreating. If you uh, by some reason you come to the respawn and they are around the stairs you can trap yourself around here and they won't... <laughs> fuck this. Oh, he just healed and now he's coming back with this bitch. And another rusty armor. They drop this very often so you may expect uh, you should bring some rust removers to to try to take your chances in this uh, I'm not sure if I... yeah I think I killed these ones last time I passed by here um, the only bad thing of uh, hunting werewolves is that they do a lot of damage and as a level 100 you won't have that much of that much equipment to protect your yourself uh, perhaps level 100 you will have uh, a royal draken mail it's for level 100 it is the f it's a physical protection six five percent I think yes five I'm almost sure it's five percent it's very good um, I have one but I usually forget to bring because I usually wear these ones because it is good for most of these cases and they boosts your speed, so I believe it's very good. But of course, if you are hunting something that you don't need speed, just like here, I don't need speed, so I should uh, wear the drinking mail because it boosts my shielding as well. And more armor because it's 16 armor. Much better. <laughs> Much better. One armor extra. So. But I believe. Uh, and it's very expensive, of course. If you didn't make the quest, and sometimes this happens, and then you get hit very hard because the werewolf comes last. I usually keep my health uh, uh, above 1000, but it's because I have a lot of HP. In your case, you should uh, keep it higher than 800, should be a good in case you are level 100. I get to a wolf paw. I'm gonna heal a little bit more. 
so the respawn is fine I didn't have any problem uh, I think so I don't remember the number of creatures if I got all of them but I believe uh, the respawn is working fine perhaps I can run one more time and then I, w I will wait a little bit more to make sure it's everything respawned so we get this two werewolves again easy um, and if you want you can use this healing it's very cheap it is the grand eco you get these level 100 I think and it heals more than 1000 I think so, 900, 1000, around this costs only 200 mana problem is the cooldown, it's very high 10 minutes cooldown so it's the only problem it should be like 4 minutes it would be fine for me so I could use this often and uh, not really often but uh, usually when I need it so I'm gonna get this werewolf to the bottom I'm gonna bring it to the same place I did before and the damage they deal they hit um, around the same uh, much a giant spider hits I'm gonna check yeah there's only one werewolf here I was just curious to see and uh, you must be wondering what you find down here there's nothing just a teleport where you will face the boss uh, when you finish the task so if you have the task finished you should be prepared you should be ready to face the boss so you go ask for the mission the boss mission then you you go and face the humming I think it's humming or hemming or I don't know my pronunciation sucks <laughs> sorry but it's a uh, and uh, very decent loot not as much as the loot you get from the nightmare boss but uh, decent loot I've killed him twice and I got dreaded cleaver um, let me see what else it was uh, I don't remember the name it is uh, it is a mace a chain with a bow in it I forgot the name of that bone crusher oh, I have no idea I forgot that sorry but it is good loot and you always get something around 20k when you kill him so if you didn't get anything from your hunt you should get something from him usually you get something from him uh, I, I started by the wrong place I should go close to the stairs but I think it's fine now there's another were werewolf waiting for me so I'll get him soon perhaps there is one around the stairs I totally forgot about using the skills. I should be using the skills. And I'm just auto attacking. Sometimes I start talking and forget to to press the buttons. So I haven't been updating videos recently. I had some uh things to do in real life, you know. Um started the new year gotta find better job and stuff so we go to those interviews and training and things so it's a bit hard to find time to do all things but anyway um, I'm here hunting a little bit today it's very I, I, I would like to hunt something better but I went to lots of places and it's all full, I don't know why it's probably because it's January people are not doing much so they're probably just at home playing T 
tibia, <laughs> probably that, those, the ones that play, of course. So the number of people online increases a bit, and people hunting as well. I get a platinum amulet, so this is our first loot. Uh, it is, they don't, uh, they are not very generous in loot, so I don't usually get mu much from them. But one thing is sure, they... When they drop, they drop a lot, because sometimes I come here, get nothing, and other days I get m mercenary sword, and other other things from them. Other, other time I got two of these platinum amulets, and a knight armor from the... using the rust remover. One thing you should bring, I recommend, uh, bring some food uh, if you if you like, because they don't drop uh, food often. I'm gonna fall back a little bit. There's another werewolf coming. Uh, I don't need to use the fire field, but if I needed, I would. Uh, so I'm ready for this. There's going, he's going to run, and I kill him. Stone skin amulet. So get another drop. The value is pretty low, 500. And he's beating hard. So I'm I'm forced to use a zero equal bit. Sometimes uh, you you kill them and they don't deal they don't deal any damage. But other times they like combo life drain and stuff. <laughs> and sometimes they summon a lot of wolves. So at this moment I have already used 17 mana potions. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think I started in 800 or 810, something like this and just 70 potions probably you would have uh, you would have used a bit more in if you because you were lower level of course this guide is not for people of my level it's for lower levels so my experience per hour here is 2 2.7 yes 2.700 not really much and I'm um, uh, with the experience boost but I'm just starting perhaps later I get a bit more experience Sh it should be around th 320 or 340k per hour with this boost but uh, we're just starting maybe this is not very accurate yet and I should kill this faster. But uh, uh, if you kill them a bit faster, they don't respond, so you have to wait. So I choose uh, hunting a bit slower, but uh, I don't have to wait, and I save a bit of money. And this experience will be pretty the same because if I'm waiting without killing anything I'm not getting experience so we do the same cycle go to the south get those two werewolves and uh, get the other one the other ones in the middle after passing by the stairs Make sure you have uh, your healing buff, buff all the time. Because it's very cheap if you to heal. Oh, I have one more minute in the cool for the of the cooldown of that skill. So soon I will use it again. Kill this one fast and exhort just to finish him. Another wolf paw. 
By the way, if you need some food, uh, you can also you can you may find it here. Not very likely because these uh, wolves are not very generous in food. But every time you pass uh, Nickling the respawn, you should pay a visit there and see if you get something. And <laughs> Last uh, one of the days I was hunting here, I got a werewolf trophy. Trophy, yes, I think this is the name. And I got a trophy from the werewolf down there. Very unusual. Let's see. Pfft, crap, again. But maybe later we get something better. My hunt is just starting. So this video will be hunting guide and uh, uh, casual hunting at the same time. So I'll be doing both. By the way, if you want to task these werewolves, I'll be teaching here in this video. I've already taught, <laughs> as you could see. And I said that I should wait a bit to respawn but it's not needed so I'll keep hunting until the time I find no werewolves almost no no werewolves let's see oh yes up here I confused I usually confuse this this part with the part above I messed up, I used just the skill and not auto attacking skill. Oh well, my skill is debuffed. As I could see I I used the strike and it dealt only eighty eight damage. Very very little. If you want to use these potions, mm, it's up to you. But they uh, they're not worth it. I prefer selling them on the trade and buying mana potions because it's better so I'm gonna check uh, how much experience right now and it is still increasing but not really much 286 286k per hour and looks like it is hasn't responded yeah one of the wolves so I started having some problems with respawn right now. Uh, if you are another tip, if you are hunting here, I recommend you to to use soft boots if you don't have these boots. Because uh, also, if you have, it doesn't matter. This is for level 150. So the best boot boots you can use, you should use, is the soft boots, because it regenerates a lot of mana, and for a cheap cost. So it's very cheap the mana you pay. Much better than mana potions and also regenerates a little bit of HP that is always welcome so we kill this one um, I'm gonna head to the exit and wait a little bit because I want to get some loot here I want loot Last, uh, I was hunting quarters with a friend of mine I made a video but um, my video, it was too too long, uh, the hunt we made. It lasted one hour. And I tried to get uh, the best part of the hunt. And use a fast forward in the part in the middle to make it uh, more dynamic. So I used the tool and thing, edited the video. But then when I tried to make the video, it was full of problems and it was not a very good image. So it was 
pretty sad. I made a very nice video with my friend and the image sucked. So I'll try and record other day, other place and upload for you guys. Or perhaps I find a better program to to use on that video to make the changes I want. But so I still have the video, I didn't delete that. Perhaps if I can use the tools and re and uh, fix what I want, I could uh, upload that. I, I, I was talking to him and we're planning to hunt some bees. He's druid and he wants to get some levels. Um, but you, we usually find places full of people and so I suggested that I could block some behemoths so I will record that it is a very nice, I like behees the experience sucks a bit because they have high HP and low experience they should fix that and put a little bit more experience for that thing they're such nice creatures very old in Tibia But then uh, I I planned to hunt a bit with him. Some behemoths. So I will try to record and uh, upload in the channel. And this time I get him. <laughs> Luckily. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, just to to kill some time and don't drop my experience I'm gonna get everything I find around here and kill oh my god I almost killed that lucky tarantula I get some food Let's see gold messed up so fine so let's get back there we should already we should I should I expect they uh, respond already let's see in a plate armor not really bad so our loot right now oh shit I do I I think no yes I had gold on the backpacks already yes uh, I'm full of gold so I don't know exactly let's see I'm gonna drop this and see how much gold did I get I got 3.6k in gold in this hunt I was like 11k that's why my cap capacity is so low so I got almost 4k in gold uh, a plate armor. I don't know if you're gonna carry this, but I still have capacity, so I will. So I will. Um, so I finished this one before I finish talking. Well, 2.5k for the amulet, stone skin amulet, 500 gold. So 3k, 7k, around 7k, and the creature product. This time I got two werewolves on me, and there is another one coming from the south, but uh, not yet. It's not here yet. Uh, as you can see, when they are in two, they deal a lot of damage. I'm gonna chase him because I want to finish this bitch. Oh. <laughs> I pressed the button again, and then I switched the target. Let's kill everything. Okay, so this uh, creature product here is worth 400, if I'm not mistaken, 300 to 400. Around this, and also, wolf balls are not worth much. Ultimate healing potion, 300, and five of these. I think I got only four, because there I, I had two my backpack and I drank one 
so probably I got 4 potions, 400 gold just this, pretty sad, not much loot but this time everything should be already respawned and I'm gonna use the super healing if it is off cooldown you should always use that it costs 2 mana potions only and heals much more than a ultimate healing potion yeah I'm not very lucky today unfortunately I'll get this halberd to pay some of my expenses so um, for a level 100 it is a decent area not very profitable but uh, as all the places I show they are optional and what is interesting is that you can task wolves werewolves so sometimes you're looking for getting points score score in the quest this is a good place to do this to level 100 knights I think the best uh, options are nightmares let's see the other is yeah the other in my opinion is they are werewolves and I don't know oh the giant spiders giant spiders are for level is below below 130 so the best options the uh, best option for knights are these I I really hate giant spiders because the places we find those there are botters lots of botters or lots of people for example Yalaha ca that castle in Yalaha the mansion in the cemetery quarter you will never find that place free the other option we have uh, uh, Mal Malada I think it's the island full of giant spiders good place uh, I think we don't find bothers but the number of giant spiders there and it's not really much and there are lots of other creatures that pieces off there is forbidden lands in forbidden lands yeah there you find bothers all oh, 24 per 7 so this is what I hate in the I I believe that Forbidden Lands is the best place to to hunt giant spiders. I get another rusty armor. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. My <laughs> crap. <laughs> I it uh, broken. It's broken now. Let's use the Exori to make things faster a bit because I'm a little bit impatient right now. My God, I, I my heat was so low. I get another uh, start of time to drop food. Yes, perhaps I will drop this plate armor. So little money. let's hunt a little bit more more like five minutes and see how how the loot goes and I will stop uh, the recording the video but I will consider all the hunt so in the comments below I will leave uh, the loot I, get, I got here during this hunt and how much time I spent hunting so that you have an idea if you haven't been here before you will have an idea of loot how it is so I will fall back a little bit not to get too on me because it's easier to kill but they do a lot of damage you see that time I got two uh, I'm, I'm forced to use healing Exura Eco and this is 
what I don't want to. I want to just regenerate. No mana. And hit. And another. And another. And the last to finish him. He ran away. In a berserker portion. Uh, one, one tip. One tip. I say. Don't use them against werewolves. Because every time they debuff. They can uh, remove your... 5 skill boost so and you keep having the shielding minus if I'm not mistaken if you use you lose the you lose the boost but you still have uh, the shielding reduction so it is really really bad I don't know it shouldn't work it should like if you lose the boost you should also lose it they should uh, remove uh, the minus 10, 10 shielding but you keep having the minus 10 shielding but you don't have any skill boost pretty sad Bec uh, I know that because I've already done this I said oh cool I'm gonna oh bitch I'm gonna use this uh, skill so even if they debuff a little bit of my attack I can still have an extra boost and it didn't work I still have one more rust remover so let's see if I find another rusty armor let's fall back a little bit, heal use my strike synchronized and look the cooldown attack and one more finished so I'm gonna kill some more let's see until I'm, I'm gonna go th towards the stairs before I finished finish my video let's check the experience now yeah now it dropped a little bit sad but it is around this so without this boost you should have 180, 200, 200 and a bit more perhaps if you kill faster or the respawn is faster so let's get another werewolf these life drains don't forget to bring uh, the garlic necklace so it was full re full charged when I started hunting and it, it is already 52 charges and it keeps using this drain on me see how much damage 120, 130 if you don't have the necklace probably uh, 150, 140 gonna finish with style so I'm gonna use an exori min and exori but yeah no loot unfortunately but well guys that's it I'll keep hunting a little bit more but I will end the video here I've shown some tactics how to deal with this place and some tips also to use the fire fields, necklace, uh, physical protection as well if you can have a helmet like a Zaun helmet, dwarven legs and uh, use the soft boots, royal drake in mail if you have and a shield, there is a shield if I'm not mistaken it's not, this is prismatic shield or ornate shield, ornate shield I think uh, it's probably for level 100 as well around this 110 I, I don't remember very well but that's it so use this equipment as a knight 
and you you will do pretty fine. You won't spend a lot of mana potions. And use your mana to heal, not to attack a lot, because they debuff your skill, so you hit less. So it's better to keep auto attack and use it only when it's really necessary. Fight only one and uh, you will succeed. If you have uh, any success hunting these creatures with loot, tell me about your loot. Uh, I, I really like these stories like, oh I killed the 10 and I got two mercenary swords. <laughs> it happens, like people don't believe, but it happens. And sometimes you kill like for two days and nothing comes. No loot comes. But that's it. Thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll try to keep, keep keep it up, so I'll try to upload more videos as soon as possible. Thanks again. Bye-bye, guys.